What's up guys, welcome back to another adventure driven video. Cannon, say hi. Hi. Um, we're getting ready for an elk hunt here in Colorado. So we need to get the tent there, on the truck there, and we're packing up today and we're leaving this afternoon. You want to, you want to, well, wait till it gets lowered down, okay? Because I don't want to hurt you. Remember this? Yeah. Okay, you ready? Ready. Here we go. Winch system, it's pretty awesome. I can pull it off my truck, store it up top, lower it down, and then I just have to bolt it into the rails on the truck and it's ready to go. So, for those of you curious, and I'm sure you are, this is a Smitty built tent that I got, well, actually like several years ago off of Craigslist. Um, I had to go FSR, sold it, after I bought this one, I had two for a little bit. Um, and then these bed rails are literally all pro off-road, just cheap bed rails. They lock into the um, mounting system that the Tacoma has. And there it is, it flips open. Um, I kind of have some crazy Unistrut stuff to mount it better going on in here, but it, it works really nice. All right, I'll open up the doors. Um, axe. Shovel. That's the cover. And then here's the tent. But it's pretty nice, sleeps two people pretty comfortably. Oh, okay. So, whenever I do an excursion with this vehicle or another vehicle, I like to like check through things, make sure that everything seems fine. Obviously fluids, make sure all the nuts and bolts of the obvious things are uh, good to go. And yeah, it seems pretty good. We've had some weird issues in the past, um, but this truck is super reliable. Um, but yeah, I just like to check all the, the things and make sure that we're good to go. Okay, so it's about 4.15 on Wednesday and I'm just leaving the house heading to pick up Matthew at his house and then we're gonna drive about two and a half three hours south of here um, for our base camp tonight so the idea is that we're gonna go tonight set up our base camp start in the morning we have an idea where we've seen some elk before so I'm along to film it. Uh, that's gonna be the fun part. I'm coming along to film the trip and he actually has the archery tag. Uh, and the fun part is, is that I have a rifle tag for elk in the same area in November. And we're in September now. So that's gonna be, um, that's gonna be a lot of fun. 
the cool thing with these episodes i've always wanted to film hunts um never really knew how to film hunts and how to post them but a lot of people post hunts um but we're not a big brand like we're not Sitka or kuyu or under armor a large brand that like is a hunting brand that can just post them and get you know viewership because it's actually quite expensive to film these hunts um i spent less on this trip than i did when we went to alaska to hunt the mountain goat with Stephen casey and peter casey but these still cost a lot of money to film and so you know not everything's about the views i love going outdoors i love hunting i love filming it's two of my biggest like hobbies i would say but you know there's got to be some way to like recoup what you spent um when you're filming them for free so um i got some inspiration uh stephen drake as actually one of those inspirations where they film hunts and so this is kind of like the first hunt that i'm filming that is more of a not no offense towards matthew but an amateur quote unquote um the hunt that i did with steven and peter in alaska was way over my league um they're way out of my league and i would say they're you know more professional hunters they've been doing it forever plus if you hunted in alaska your whole life you kind of know a thing or two about hunting um, Matthew has hunted before, but this is his first time hunting in Colorado, and also my first time hunting in Colorado. So I think this is going to be a great experience because we're both going to be learning, and it's more showing the fact of like get out there and hunt. Like we don't exactly know where we're going, we know of an area, and we're going to get out there. We're going to do it, and it's going to be awesome. Well, we made it to our camp for tonight. We're sleeping in the Forerunner. Story to come tomorrow about why we don't have the Tacoma anymore. <laughs> and we have the Forerunner, but sleeping with the hatch open because otherwise it's going to get too hot in here. But we're going to get up at five and pack to go hike. So see you in the morning.